Can I ask you all a favour? There's only 12% of people who watch my channel are subscribed. Now in January, James asked me what were my New Year's resolutions and I half jokingly said to get a thousand subscribers this year. So if you could spread the word, if you like my channel, share it with other people, hit the subscribe button, the like button, give me any comments, any feedback, they're all much appreciated. And let's try and get in this last three, four months of the year up to a thousand subs. That would enable me to keep doing what I love doing and keep bringing videos for you all. Hello everybody, I'm Jamie and if you're here at the Yacht Hagia channel it means that you want another local adventure. I'm back in Widnes at West Bank and today we're going to have a bit of a history tour looking at some fascinating old buildings. The River Mersey. The tide is going out. Prior preparation and planning, went and did myself a little map of all the sites. We're going to start off at St Mary's Church. Consecrated in 1910, Gothic Revival style. Quite a big beastie. When Coral, James, Steve and I the Mersey walk we didn't give this place much attention we dropped down to the river by this point how cool would it be if we could get up on that tower ah I've heard of this this is a pulpit and it's got some bits from the Bible in it so on into the neot because uh, I can't read that I'm hoping to get in and have a walk round. Big heavy gate, that. Eh? Ooh, our windows seem better days. Hey, there's the Jubilee Bridge outside. Somewhat impressive actually. This is grade two listed. I can see why. Okay, next up, we'll head down past the Catalyst Museum and pop our head in at the canal at Spike Island. Okay, cool. Your struggles are valid, even if other people are struggling more. So the Catalyst is located in what was formerly the head offices of the Gossage Soap Company, built in 1860. It was originally known as the Tower Building. So basically it's a museum it's full of all the records about the chemical industry, ICI, all that. Never actually been in it myself, but, uh, hmm. And there we go, the multimodal gateway. <laughs> Big kid. Been here before, haven't we? Didn't drop it that time. <laughs> Okie dokie. Before the Industrial Revolution, Widnes was basically just a collection of settlements on marsh and moorland. It was in 1847 that the first chemical factory opened here and the town prospered soon after. Spike Island, where I am now, 
was at the centre of the British chemical industry. In 1833, Widnes Dock opened. It was the world's first ship to rail dock. But by the 1970s, there was no more chemical industry here. The place was cleaned up and turned into the park here, that is Spike Island Park. There's some crazy swans then. I'm gonna head on into town now. We'll see what else we can find, eh? Along the St. Helens Canal. Oldest canal in the world, remember? Not got anything for you, mate, sorry. You know what? I'm gutted that my mate Steve's working today because he's my witness from Widness. He's the local man. For example, I'm sure he told me there used to be a bridge here. If you Google what is Widness famous for, it says, Widness was famous for its smell. The town was basically a load of chemical factories and manufacturing plants with some houses squished between them. And that's us underneath the multimodal gateway. Yeah, it's all changed around here. This road used to go straight up over the Jubilee Bridge. A little bit of my own family history. I mentioned on a video with Stephen, the Tobins. That was my nan's mum's mum. She was a Tobin, Teresa Tobin. And the family came over from Ireland in the 1850s. And in my bag, I've got a document, a census record, showing not direct ancestors of mine, but people who share my Tobin bloodline living just up here. Okay, so this is the Hive, Leisure Park. And just behind the Premier Inn is Planet Ice. And that is where the Tobins were living. Let me explain. Well, despite the graffiti, just uh, don't read that bit. These photographs take you back in time to how this area used to look. Exactly. There was a big alkali works here. Rows of terraced houses. But here, Township of Witness, Ecclesiastical District of St. Mary's. Number four, I think that says Pearson Street. We've got Thomas Tobin. 45, Hannah Tobin, his wife, 35, from Ireland. She was Welsh, Hannah. Now these aren't, like I said, my direct ancestors, but if you look, the son, John, he was born in St. Helens. I think it was just Thomas's brother who was my direct ancestor. Okay, planet ice is an ice rink. Makes sense. Not the easiest road to cross though. Bit of a trek to get over. Wow, look at this in B&M. Back to the Future cereal. Back to the Future cups. Back to the Future body wash. Back to the Future bottle opener. Absolutely gutted. There's a Mackey's there. I've got vouchers at home, you know, from the new Monopoly. The free chips and a free burger and I've left them at home. All right. Next old buildings are pretty much here in the town centre, so we'll go and see them. Classic old bin that, pebble dashed. So up ahead on my left, there's another old church. Nice big Tesco there. Is that a mosaic? I think it is. I am the Immaculate Conception. Look at that. All right, so I don't know what the church is called, or was called. I don't think it is a church anymore. It's a, a voluntary and community action centre. You know what? We're next to St. Mary's Community Park, or St. Mary's, I don't know how you pronounce it. That is, incidentally, the church that was mentioned on the census record. And just over the way is the school, St. Gerard's. Absolutely fantastic mosaic, though. Okay, let us continue our adventure. A bit more of a feel of old witness down this end. Some gorgeous red brick buildings, similar to those of St. Helens, to be honest, and Wigan, and Warrington, all these northwest towns. Let's go and read the inscription above the door, see what it is. Originally constructed in 1899 as the town's poor relief hall. This building was completely renovated and reopened by the mayor of Holton in 1990. Cool. See? And why aren't you in uniform?
cooperative hall here, Victoria House, stained glass windows and everything. It's true what they say, they don't make them like they used to. Fascinating, isn't it? Must say, I am liking this bit of witness. On the Facebook group recently, Witness Council was getting a bit of stick, saying that they should never have hired out the old town hall, and that it's nothing like it was in the olden days. People do tend to look at the town through rose-tinted goggles. They have this romantic view of the past, and it was amazing when, you know what? Today, it's not that bad. So what is it nowadays? bar okay look at that absolutely gorgeous look at the detail mdcccllxxv 1885 stunning stunning brickwork look at the faces carved into the brick the details the animals the pillars the old sign for Victoria Square over there on the right is the old library let's go and have a look I'm not from Witness I'm from St Helens I live in Warrington but you've got some fantastic architecture here and it could be in a lot worse state than it is another one no wonder that these buildings are grade 2 listed look at that look at it Look at it. Can't fault it. Just a bit further around here on my right is the old bus station. Doesn't look used anymore, unfortunately. But again, fantastic architecture. Superintendent, engineer, Witness Corporation garage. Isn't that brilliant? A viewer wrote to me and told me about Heinkel, a German bomber that got shot down during World War II and it crash landed up here on Dundalk Road in the park. So let's go and have a little walk along to the King George V playing fields. What a curious little house. At the end of the road here, you've got the Witness Rugby Ground. Very cool. And just over here on my left is the park where the Heinkel came down in 1941. In reality, I don't really think there's much here for me to see other than some playing fields. The viewer that contacted me said that one of the cottages that you can see in the old photograph, that's where the survivors were taken, still stands. I looked up an article and in 2008 some excavation work was done here to try and find the traces of the bomber but all they found really was oxidised soil, soil that had metal rust in it basically. It's a big old area this, I think I might have to come back another day when I've done a bit more research on this Heinkel bomber. This is an absolutely massive area. Let's see if we can find this cottage dead quick and we'll head back into town. We've mooched for nearly four miles already and your faithful narrator here is getting a little bit hungry. How the world has changed since World War II. World War II fascinates me. It's probably from watching all the documentaries with my granddad as a kid, well, and a teenager, and now. World at war, Nazis are warning from history. I mean, personally, I've visited an awful lot of the places in Europe that were affected by World War II. Poland, concentration camps, D-Day beaches, Berlin. It just fascinates me that humanity could descend into such madness. Factories designed to kill people. It's, uh, blows your mind, doesn't it? And on that note, I've still not found this cottage that I'm looking for or where the Heinkel came down. 
I mean, what would you do if you're just in your house one evening and then you hear a plane crash into the field here? And then some German pilots come out, people who've just been trying to blow up the neighboring city. Would you take them in? Would you help them? In such unprecedented times, you don't really know how you'd react. All right, I'm really not quite sure, but my best guess is this corner of this rugby pitch is where the Heinkel came down and that the cottage has gone. Correct me if I'm wrong, put me some pointers in the comments below and we'll come back. We'll do a proper job of the Heinkel story. All right, let's go back into town. Let's swing by the rugby ground and see what other fascinating old buildings we can see. who Jesslyn is, but apparently she's sexy. This is a pleasant little cut through off the main road. All right, Holton Stadium coming up on the right, home of Witness Rugby League Football Club. Not that I'm even into rugby, never been to a match in my life, despite being from St. Helens, but... And in 15 minutes, I should be back in the center of town. Weirdness, weirdness. Okay, so this is Kingsway. Sims Cross Primary School just opposite. Can we get across here? Yes, we can. <laughs> Jubilee Bridge. It's funny how people come and go from your life. I used to be quite friendly with the bloke called Anthony. And he had more Star Trek toys than me. Now that's saying something. Me and him used to come down to witness there was a shop and I think it was called Simply Awesome. It's in the building where Blockbuster used to be. Wonder if that still exists. What the hell are these Soviet looking things? Boys and girls. Curious. Freaking Awesome was the name of the shop. Originally it was here on the left, opposite the model train shop. Was this it? Yeah, this behind me, that was freaking awesome. Oh well, things come and go, don't they? All right, everyone, I think we'll call it a day. Thanks for joining me on a historical tour of Witness. Until next time. <laughs>